you're on a whole different scale of zum. Like you're not even in this conversation. You lied. Somebody lied. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Not coconut milk. I'm gonna take you to bed, bed, bed. Oh, my breath gonna be stank. Bed, 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 bed. What? Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> We're back at it again with another vlogmas video we're gonna do a quick ot mother freaking d <laughs> well, i'm getting ready to run out i'm wearing this cute sweatshirt that says twas the hizzle before chris mizzle and all that through the hizzle girl i can't read backwards like it's <sighs> But um, the sweatshirt was too small, so in true Jumima fashion, I cropped it and bam, baby, it what? Fits, okay? Uh, fashion and figure denim cargo pants. Um, I like these for the most part, but I hate how they settle underneath the gut. But pulling it up kind of minimizes that a little bit, but then it's all real to my bust, you know? But it is what it is. I'm wearing my Fugs, my faux Uggs from Cushion Air, Amazon. And, um... I'm ready to brave outside, y'all. It, I think it says it feels like zero degrees. I think it's 17 or something degrees, but then the wind. It, the last time I checked, it was 18 miles per hour, but really ranging up into like, I think the 40, girl, I don't know, child. I'm scared, but I have to go outside. Like, it's not even an option at this point. I have to go outside. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not looking like this on Christmas, okay? I need my hair cut, all right? But I have to run to the mall first, pick up some things, and then we'll head on over there, so. Let's go! <laughs> so I'm currently waiting to get my hair cut and scarf in my face, stuff in my face. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Um. Y'all, I really love my barber, like. And I ain't talking about moving. Sir, like. Why y'all want me to be happy? Like. Mm -hmm. I don't like my barber's have a life outside of barbering. Like. Moving for what? For your happiness? For your joy? For your family? Like. How dare you be happy outside of me? I need you. I don't need him. Yo, I love him. We cannot leave. Also, shout out to the decent men that can maintain platonic relationships. Like, uh, can we just, ooh, can we just shout out the men, the decent men, the few that are out there. Shout out to the men that are nice to all women, not just the ones that do want to sleep with, you know? Like, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Oh, it feels so good. Mmm. I have some extra onions. Can y'all hear the crunch? Baby, I made that barbecue with my breath hot. <laughs> hot, okay. Every time I ask for extra onions, I feel like it's always the first thing to go. Like, where are the onions at? Dang. Mmm. Uh, three more minutes to eat as much of this as I can before this cut child. Mm. Everything is like crazy today. Man, I'm saying the chaos before the holidays, before Christmas, it's wild. It's wild.
Oh, my breath gonna be stank. <laughs> mm. All right. Mm. All right, gotta wrap it up. I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. It's the wind. The wind is taking everybody out, bro. All right, give me my put the food down. The really behind. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Mm. Okay, I feel like I wrap it up. <laughs> oh, child. Oh, check off all of my teeth, child. Oh, my God. Okay, so. <laughs> I brought my hat to protect my scalp, but child, I want the one to take it, so we we're gonna be hatless. So pray for me, y'all, because I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. One hour later. Hi, can I please have a venti white chocolate mocha with coconut milk? Cream? Yes, please. And can you add toffee nut syrup, please? Uh, that's it. Right. Um, excuse me. Hello? Yes. Sorry. How many special shots are in there? It normally comes with two. Um, can you add one more blonde espresso for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Two in a venti? Oh, hello? Yes. I'm so sorry. Can you make them all blonde espresso shots? Yes, I got you. Thank you so much. And then new doodle comes out to be 917. Ooh. Thank you. Dang. I gotta buy stock at Starbucks because it's gonna make no damn sense. Building no sponsorships? Fuck. I spend so much money at Starbucks. It don't make no sense. Girl, and don't let me get a snack. Uh, I said I'm the snack today. Uh uh. Girl, what about Barbara leaving? Leaving forever? Girl, I had like four fits in a chair. I'm dumb, but not four <laughs> Cause he told me like he say my moving, but he was like it could be a year or a month. I said what? what? Girl, when I tell you I literally felt the chair, he had to come help me up. Girl, my knees said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, girl, my my knee says snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, I told him I it took me seven months to find you. Like Girl, nah, I bought that. I'm gonna ball. This is too much for me. It's too much emotional distress. <laughs> I need a drink to drink my feelings away. I am looking forward to the drink. It's super sweet. I should have asked him to put less toffee nut syrup. But Chrissy actually put me onto this drink. And child, it's delish, okay? Um, she also put me onto like a pistachio latte, but I didn't bring that back this year. Did they bring it back? I don't think they did. Dang, it must not have done well if they didn't bring it back. I don't even wish I'd gotten a chance to taste it, but anyways, this one that she told me about slaps. Okay. Your diabetes will slap too, but it taste buzz. I'll be off the chain. Hello. Um, sure. Mm. Make a bit of a start too. Thank you. May I have a straw, please? And it doesn't say on there that it was a triple blonde espresso, but we did put it in there. Okay, thank you. And coconut milk? Hmm? Coconut milk? Yes. Sir. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good one. Because they'd they be saying it's coconut oh, milk, and then I'd be in the bathroom 30 minutes later, like, you lied. Somebody lied. This is not coconut milk. I've been in his bed editing his video for the past 14 hours. It feels like 
finally it's exporting oh my gosh i'm so over it oh so we had a sweater change <laughs> with my hose at <laughs> and i'm wearing this to go bowling tonight i was actually supposed to already be there but my video is still freaking exporting it's so freaking late i'm so behind it's driving me insane i'm meeting up with chelsea she's already there things are not going as planned but we move at some point i'm gonna be able to go over there i hope so this video is literally like oh uh, vlogmas is kicking my behind y'all but we're almost through pushing through it jimmy man's been posting for two consecutive months every single day like who's on the bed of me besides it's judy's life please <laughs> So it's 11 o'clock now. The video still has not exported. It's currently at 37%. And we only had to land for two hours. So I already lost an hour. So I don't even think I'm going bowling anymore tonight. I'm so freaking upset, y'all. Like, like, Final Cut Pro never used to be like this until like this year. I tried getting help from Apple to figure out why the heck my Final Cut Pro has slowed down all of a sudden. And they're like, oh, well, let's do this and clear this and clear this cache and clear this memory. Like, wipes down my laptop just for it to still be the same. Like, I was telling them, I've had more things running and going on on my laptop than this, and it exported just fine. But now, it's so freaking annoying to use. Um, I've been saying I'm going to start using Premiere Pro, but I haven't, I haven't done it. <laughs> But now I'm freaking gonna do it because I I can't do this anymore. Like I can't waste five six hours of my life waiting for a video to export. Like what the heck, bro? This is so freaking annoying. And it's not like I can just plan ahead because it's vlogmas. I post every day. So yeah, I think one of the main things I'm gonna focus on once um, vlogmas is over and have some time to really play around with it is to start um, using Premiere Pro because I'm I'm so sick of this, y'all. Like. I was so looking forward to going bowling. I haven't gone bowling in so long, bro. I'm so upset. Like, <laughs> dressed and everything. Perfume on, ready to go. It's 11 o'clock. This video still hasn't uploaded. And it's a sponsorship. It has to go up today. Like, literally, it has to go up today. <sighs> this is so freaking annoying. And it just hit 37%. Like, be for real. Please. <sighs> this is so frustrating. I was so excited to go bowling tonight. So, it is the end of the night. Or beginning of the morning. <laughs> I'm covering my face because I just showered. And I couldn't find my tripod. So, it took me a little bit to get to this moment and my face is super ashy and dry and y'all not have to have me on the internet looking crazier than i already look so <laughs> using my <laughs> go to go recipe <sighs> i'm tired to see my ashy face on the internet like i'm tired Slapping that all over. So I was just on Instagram looking at my mentions and my phone is like blowing up because people, I'm getting a lot of pushback for my comment under a post. Okay, so let me, let me run y'all the posts because I don't want to say anything that's incorrect. Three, like Nick Cannon, and he's spreading off his seat. 100%, I no. agree with him 1,000%. Oh, no. That's how life is supposed to be. No, no, no. Why not? Because he's rich. No, but this he's, is, no. see, wait, 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 wait. Okay, go on. He's rich, he's responsible. Is he? Yes, he no. takes care of every one of okay, his children. But, no, but this is the And the baby mother's with it, and no. they hurt for nothing, and they live comfortable. No, but what about the kids, though? What about them? Because this is what I mean about men, right? You guys think that 
just having kids and giving money is enough. But what oh, about the time? No. He's there for every How one of it? them. How? There's no way that you can Are be... you serious? Are you... Nick is there for every single one of those kids. There's no way that you could have... Yes, it is. Kids. And I'm not. And I'm there for every one of them. So every single time you're at every single recital. No. It's a, that's a white man's thing. Who oh. about a recital? No. My job... Oh, no. Seriously. My job is to... Tr listen. My job is to raise my... Green like Nick Cannon and his... My thing is, I, we've seen the endless debate about Nick Cannon, right? Um, and at the end of the day, I really, I mean, I don't really care. Um, it's not a business. Clearly, the people involved consented. So, like, do what you, you want to do, you know? Um, I didn't like when he said that attending recitals was a white man's thing. Like, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> So I was like, it was my comment, exactly. It's a white man's thing to physically show up for your kid. And I put the emoji like, you know, and they are eating me up in these comments. Like, and I'm very scared, jump scared because it's giving two things, which is like Akon. One, you're, you're in that situation and you're defending yourself. Um, Akon has nine kids. <laughs> I'm, I doubt they're all by the same woman. I don't know the specs per se, but you know. And two, your parents weren't involved growing up. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Um, and the fact that people are basically saying that, uh, so like I said, I, I don't particularly care one way or the other how people choose to you know, go about their lives. But to say that going to a recital is a white man thing, what? <laughs> Um, because that's very much untrue in any sort of way that you may think that he said it. Um, because I had men commenting saying, oh, that's not how he meant it. Oh, he's saying that, oh, recite, going to recitals, period, is a white man thing. As opposed to actually attending recitals is a white man thing. Both of which are stupid. But if you think that black people don't have recitals, you're on a whole different scale of Zum, like you're not even in this conversation. <laughs> Please remove yourself. But some of the comments I was getting was from men and women, I might add. A woman, uh, a man can go to every single recital and then be physically abusive to his mom in front of his children after. It's not about a damn recital, closed-minded people. <laughs> Another person said, can he show up to every recital when he has to provide for the family? Um, Another person said, he has money to move and do what he wants. It's not broke. He can go to football games, recitals, it's different. Another person said, but even with one child, you would not be at every game, recital, dentist, doctor's appointment, etc. If you are the breadwinner, sometimes you won't be there. And what people are failing to realize is that they're making my point. So if as a, a parent, with kids in the same household, if it's already difficult for you to be there for those kids or that kid, whatever the case may be, because his example is like, oh, my brother's, my brother's an engineer, he has to fly out the country, blah, 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 blah. So if you're already struggling with one kid, what makes you think you'll, you'll do better with nine? Does it not decline the more you have? <laughs> Once again, making my point, people are like, oh, this one guy was like, oh, um, if I had a father that was off, making money, making millions, oh, I'd be a happy, content child. No, you're thinking like an adult. <laughs> money has no value for kids. As long as they're, they're, they're eating, there's a roof over their head, they have some toys, they're good. Money don't mean none of them, don't got no pills. Money means nothing to kids. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? As a kid, you're not thinking, oh, my father's making millions of dollars. Like, I'm four years old, but he's making so much money, I don't care if he's here or not. Please, like, be for real. My thing is, if that's the situation or you agree with what was said, that's fine, that's valid, but make your points make sense. Like, nobody was offering real facts as to why that was okay. Now, if you want it to be okay just because that's how you prefer for life to be, cool. I always say, I want to be a part-time father. Like, I always say that, and I feel like that's keeping a buck. A lot of people want to be part-time parents. Be honest and say that. Like... <laughs> Why y'all going off and, and, and trying to make it into something that is not? Like, it's, 
I'm like, am I tripping? Am I tripping? Like, and I feel like that's why the idea of like marriage and family is terrifying me. It's because it is normalized for men to kind of take the backseat of parenting. And it's because they already have it in their minds that the full force of nurturing and true parenting and really being there for the kids is going to be from the mother. And maybe that's why my father was involved like he was and my mom died. There was nobody for him to count on. So he had to, you know, suck it up and, and, and walk over to my band recital. Okay. Because black kids do have band recitals. I, okay. I was also in choir. Black kids are in choruses. So. Oh, like you're perpetuating these ridiculous and crazy AF stereotypes. Like what do you, like a couple people said, oh, he didn't mean like that. He means like black people don't have recitals. What? Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> and I, you know, I just, uh, usually if, it's get, if it gets out of hand, I'll delete a uh, comment or whatever. But I said, no, I have time today. Maybe not they have time waiting for that freaking video to export. Baby, I was responding. What's up? Y your turn. Next. Oh, like I thought. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not here to say Nikan is this or that, like, or Akon is this and that. Like, I, at, at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> and clearly, it's a cultural thing, but. My thing is, one, for you to say that that's a white man's thing, ridiculous. And two, call a spade a spade. Like, let's not try to make it to something else to make you feel better about what you're doing. If you're gonna be a shit and not around, then be a shit and not around and stand on that. Like, stand up, grow a spine, and be honest about who you are. Like, oh, my parents weren't involved, so uh, uh, why should I have to be involved? I, the kids are good get help please seek help like I need y'all to stop thinking it's okay for you to take your struggles as a child and pass it on just because you made it out okay let's let's table that notion okay let's put that to the side <laughs> okay tuck in the back of a drawer and let's try something new did you enjoy your childhood no are you a decent human being a functioning human being the way we responding to my comment no <laughs> So let's try something different, you know? But if I'm tripping, please let me know. I mean, be nice. Because I still got my Twitter fingers ready. But be nice. But if I'm tripping, like, let me know. Once again, like I said, clearly these are all consenting um, adults. Like, do what you want to do. I'm just saying that <laughs> attributing um, recitals to race is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Coming from a musician. Coming from a performer ridiculous but it's crazy that he said that and he's like capping for nick and it, nick just said that he felt like he didn't have enough time with his kids and you know my man suffered like he lost he lost a son he lost a child and he's still grieving that and he said that you know he felt like he didn't have enough time with his children like you have to consider like you do not have enough time and people are like oh, oh he's working he's a breadwinner he's doing this and he's doing that exactly my point he's already struggling and you're adding more to his plate you're already not around because of your work now you're spreading yourself even tonight <laughs> once again making my point i'm just like i feel like people are just arguing just to argue nobody's giving me a valid reason and this if there's a valid reason like please tell me if that's just the kind of family structure that you want then fine let that be that once again, I told y'all, I'm still stuck on the fact that he said going to recitals, your, your child's recital is a white man's thing. Whether he meant that literally or figuratively or however way, for me, I took it as literally going to recitals and also being physically present for those little mundane things that clearly a lot of men think are just not very important. They actually are important because children remember that. Children remember that. Anyways, child, like I said, I know I'd be a great mom, but I don't want to be a full-time mom. And that's just that on that. And I feel like not, not enough men are, are willing to admit that. Like, be, be a man. Stand up and stay with your chest. I don't want to be a full-time dad. 
I want to be a fun dad. Come on weekends, dad. Come when I've done us to do that. Fly in here and there, dad. Express some money, dad. And call it a day. Then what can people say? You ain't shit. You already ain't shit. So, next. Next. <laughs> Child, this robe is warm. I need to moisturize my body and we finna get in the bed. I'm gonna take you to bed, 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 bed. <laughs> my room is super vibey right now. Ooh, my laptop will make a really like pretty, like one of those like reflecting lamps. Like I should get like a purple, purplish blue one. I thought that would be really cute. Yeah, that's cute. Anyways, chat. Uh, shoot, I have the bathroom back on. I, wow, first of all, I, I said I want to go to Orange Theory tomorrow morning. I'm jump scared. Orange Theory scares me. Like, I truly hate the treadmill. Like, I really do. And the rowing hurts my knees, so I need to do the 2G class instead of 3G. But I like the 3G because it's less treadmill time, and I just be skipping the rowing and just do like the little workouts that you're supposed to do in between the rowing. Um. <laughs> yeah, see, no, that's not gonna work for me. It's a sign, I shouldn't go. <laughs> I could just do a home workout tomorrow. But I, I kind of want, I kind of don't want to, but I also want to, but I don't want to. Cause sometimes I get like requests to show me in the gym working out. And I'm just like, I, mm, I feel like one, I still have so much to learn when it comes to the gym. I don't want to be anybody's like, I don't want people looking at me for help. Basically, is what I'm saying. At least not right now. Like, I'm. I still have so much to learn. Why does there's so much going on in my bed right now? Like, it doesn't matter. I have to change out my bed sheets tomorrow, anyways. Um, but so I mean, I just, I just, I get scared that, and I don't like recording in the gym. I don't like recording in my apartment gym because it's my apartment gym, and I just have to be always super careful about what I post because I don't want anybody, you know, trying to play detective. Like, I ought to hate to have to move all of a sudden and have no plan. Um, so, I don't like filming there. And that's where I've been going the most recently. Um, but I also don't want to record in public gyms. Mainly because I get really self-conscious. Um, and I feel like people are judging me. Mio. Yeah, I can admit that. I feel like people are going to be like, what's this fat girl doing with a camera recording her workouts? And her form is trash. Like, you know, like, like, you know, everyone wants to be a fitness. Like, you know, I just, I don't want that that smoke. I don't want it. I don't want it. So, I don't know. I used to, like, sneak in little clips every now and then. But it's always the same clips. I'm like, do I really want to keep showing that? It's just me on the leg extension. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I just act like I'm on my phone. And I just, you know. <laughs> Ciao. Anyways. The point I'm making is that. I be struggling. I be struggling. I be struggling. <laughs> um, and I be embarrassed. And I don't know what to do. I feel like if it was like a private gym or if I had like a trainer. I haven't thinking about perhaps looking into a trainer. Mainly for accountability purposes. And also to kind of force me out of my comfort zone. Because I'm very much so in my comfort zone. Like if I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and that's not always the best thing. Especially if you want to grow. Like, for me, I love strong legs. Like, I love watching fitness content just so I can look at their legs. Like, I have a thing for legs. I do. I do. I like, some, I like nice, strong legs. Mm. <sighs> anyway, child, so I'm like, you know, I wouldn't mind having nice, strong legs like that, too. But, like, oof. You know, I, it, I, it would help me to have somebody that pushes me. But also, I don't like being told what to do. So, that that's the problem. <laughs> that's a problem. All right, y'all. I'm about to 
respond to a couple comments plan out tomorrow and call it a day because it's currently 2 3 in the morning and i guess i'm not doing orange dairy so i guess i don't have to wake up early yeah because i'm 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 not doing an 8:45 class or a 7 30 class on a saturday like be for real and it's two o'clock right now be for real okay um i should schedule for monday uh huh Ugh, i don't want to be there that early i don't know child anyways uh i'll talk to y'all later bye Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys shaking whiskey and rum, saying this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, good night. Good morning, darlings. Um, I'm about to make me some breakfast. What was this? Everybody was gonna food fight. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have some oatmeal. A meal of oats. I desperately need to reorganize my cabinet because, like, a crazy person, I ordered so many of these little thingies from Kodiak. Um, this is a muffin power cup, 12 grams of protein, chocolate chip flavored. This is oatmeal power cup, maple with brown sugar, 14 grams of protein. Um, I have another muffin power cup and blueberry, and I have a brownie power cup, 10 grams of protein. So I'm going to see which one has the most carbs. Ooh, this one has a lot of carbs, 41 grams. This also has a lot of sugar. So I didn't really look at the stats too much when I first first tried them. I just made it and I was like, oh, this tastes really freaking good. Um, but yeah, it's because it's full of sugar. But I'm gonna have that for breakfast today, apparently. Let me see. Cause I kind of want to add some fruit. I bought these little like fruit cups, but I don't like them. So it's literally just like um, blueberries, strawberries, and banana bites. Um, I think I have one that was open already. Hold on. Go for that freezer burn now, though. Yup. Yup, definitely have one that was open. But I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but just, yeah, because it's been in there a while. Oh, yeah, not using that. It smells like freezer. But that's what it looks like. So I'm actually gonna do the oatmeal cup, and then I'm just going to put this in it and then microwave that and have that for breakfast. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Go get a gun then go I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. So it looks like on the inside i'm gonna asso asso <laughs> i'm gonna also use some of my protein Karma flax milk protein to beefing it up a little bit, thicken it up, make that thing pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. About one third cup water and milk until oat milk is covered. Okay, until it's covered. But it's kind of just gonna sit on top a little bit. All right, I don't, I don't know. Ciao. I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the fruit in. And I'll probably put some nut butter or something on top to make it a little more filling. Oh, do I have to remove the lid completely? Yeah. Okay, and then just, oh. I think there's like 40 calories or something a cup. I'm not sure, but 
I'm hoping the bananas will add some flavor. I wanna make you a man of Christmas. I'm a man of Christmas. Alright, that says mix it. <gasps> My cup overfloweth. <sighs> okay, not funny. I'm trying to mix it, child. Ooh, I hope this does not come out nasty because I will be very upset. <sighs> I feel like I probably didn't need the whole cup, like maybe half a cup, but whatever. We're already here. We move. I think it's mixed well enough. Let's see. God for nails. <laughs> oh. Do I feel like the oats aren't really breaking down? Like, why did not soft and look like oatmeal? It looked like cereal. Oat cereal. Anyways, child, I'm about to eat this and get my morning started. It's gonna make me some raspberry leaf tea. It doesn't eliminate cramps, but it does take it down a notch if you take it consistently. So now I just always have a cup on deck that I'm sipping from throughout the day. Um, I have noticed a difference with that. Um, like I said, I still die, but just a little less, just a little less. I do notice a difference. So let's make me a cup of that and go about my day. Thank y'all so much for watching this vlog and I will see you tomorrow. Toodles. <laughs>